What's up, y'all? Coach Brian. Good morning. And Eric. Big E. Mm -hmm. Call him Big Daddy as well. Uh, we're out here getting our mile and a half in. And uh, so in the chat group yesterday, or I saw it in the discussion, a, an athlete was worried about being able to fit all the things in, how to manage it, and all this kind of stuff. Um, so the way this works is, like, be bad at it at first. You're going to be bad at it. But these are things, all the, all the tasks are what's recommended through all the medical uh, kind of supervisory boards in America. So um, these things, these, these things are, are things that we should be managing. So you got to get better at it. And the way that works is, is like, you're going to stumble at first. You're going to make a few mistakes. But if you're getting better and better at the process while making mistakes, you're going to eventually hit it. All right? Mistakes are how you learn. Yep. That's how you learn. The biggest lessons you learn is when you fall flat on your face. That's right. So, first of all, watch your videos. These videos are purposely informational so that you can be orientated toward what we need to do for a daily basis. Like today, walking a mile and a half with weight. I've got 72, and Big Daddy's got a 23-pound backpack, and he's carrying a 20-pound dumbbell in one hand. It's critically important. The reason why he's doing one hand is to build his transverse abs and obliques to build stability in his core because with his, his accident, he... Uh, he uh, pretty bad messed up his rib cage and things like that. So we had to work on his on his core strength. I don't walk like this anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wants to stand up straight and walk. So that's it for today. So we're doing a uh, fast Friday. So you understand what that means? Fast Friday means that we are fasting, not eating, drinking water until dinner. Then you are allowed to eat whatever you want as long as you plan out your caloric intake so if you have three slices of domino's pizza you gotta know what three slices of domino's pizza intake is and if that meets your caloric goals so be it all right i know you may think well this is supposed to be a clean eating challenge yes but we want you to be oriented orientated toward also tracking your calories but also that you're gonna have a cheat day so a lot of people ruin their clean eating through the week by going over the weekend and destroying all their uh, court deprivation so it's kind of like this idea of a carpenter this carpenter works and slaves and toils and carves out this beautiful table during the week, Monday through Friday, and it's beautiful. It's the best table ever made on the face of the earth. And then the carpenter lights it on fire. takes it out on Saturday and blows it up, lights it on fire. So we're trying to get ahead of you on that. So we're having this day so you don't ruin it over the weekend, all right? That's the psychology behind it. Isn't it also to help us get in the habit, not just during the challenge, but clean, eat clean as a lifestyle? Yes. And knowing that one day of indulging, as long yeah. as it's within reason, yep. it's okay. Get, it's okay and you get right back on it. Good, good point, Eric. So I have, a, I, I have a common theory within this clean eating that it's almost, you know, it's kind of hard to do it every day. So 80-20 rule. So the 80-20 rule is that we're mechanically going to pretty much eat clean Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all right? And then on Wednesday, I'm going to let you have a Halo Top ice cream, your choice. But it's got to fit within your court parameters. And then we got to make it one more day of clean eating, and then Friday we're going to have Fast Friday, right? So it's doable. You can make it to Wednesday to do happy little thing, but we're going to earn it. So we got to get our mile and a half walk in get all this inflammation off our bodies, get our livers healed up, get all that funky, funky ass glycogen that's sitting in our liver to, from ice cream from a week ago that makes us sick. 
and remove the inflammation, you're going to see a, next week, you'll see the probably the biggest benefit of it. So next week, uh, Monday through Thursday, we're going to do 100% clean. So, you know, I want you to go as clean as possible through the week, 100% of the nutrition plan or meats, vegetables, seeds, nuts, and fruit only. That's what our definition of clean is. So, that's the way that works. All right, so it's day one challenge. Let's stay integrated into the challenge. I want you to use this page, Shut Up, Eat Clean, like a TV channel, all right? This is a TV channel. I want you to wake up in the morning, turn on the TV, all right? Make sure that you have all the videos watched for information and watch the video that we post. When you go on lunch break, Look again. When you, before, before you go to bed at night, look again. There's going to be information. I'm going to provide content for you that's going to help you mentally kill this challenge. Because this is what it means. You, you know, the way this, all this stuff works is you have to tell your brain the story so it can make your body comply. So you have to develop the story in your brain so your body will comply. Hope you guys understand that. So... All right, we are done for the day. Um, good luck with the uh, Fast Friday, and we will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a crazy day. We got awesome workout plan for the gym. For you guys that's in the challenge that's not in the gym, I want you to download an app called All Trails and find a trail and start planning it. For a hike tomorrow all right maybe maybe a little bit rainy for the south tomorrow but that's okay we'll figure it out all right you guys have a good day peace peace good luck